Hi! Hello! Good day, students! Today, I'm going to teach you about fraction. At the end of this topic, you should be able to demonstrate and understand fraction. Identify proper fractions, improper fractions, and mixed numbers. What is a fraction? To help us understand what is a fraction, let us answer this word problem. Francis has a whole pizza to share to his eight friends. Her mother cut it into eight equal slices. How much does each friend could get? Suppose that this is the whole pizza, and it is divided into eight equal parts. And since Francis has eight friends, we could tell that eight, each of them could get one slice. And we could also say that a slice is a part of a whole. But how can we represent a slice as a part of a whole? That is when we use fraction. Fraction is used to show parts of a whole, part of a set, or part of a number line. In writing a fraction, we have to consider three important parts, numerator, denominator, and a fraction bar. Fraction bar is the line that separates the numerator and denominator. The numerator is the number that is written at the top of the fraction bar. It is the shaded part or the part being considered or taken. While the denominator, it is the number below the fraction bar. It refers to the total number of parts the whole is divided into. Let us apply this in getting the fraction of one slice of a whole in the pizza. So here we could tell that one part is being taken so that will be the numerator and the whole is divided into eight equal parts so we have eight in the denominator. From there we could get the fraction one eight and so therefore each of them, or each of Francis' friends, could get one-eighth of the whole pizza. Do you get it? Remember, fraction is used to show part of a whole, part of a set, or part of a number line. Fraction has three parts, the numerator, which is at the top of the fraction bar, denominator, below the fraction bar, and the fraction bar that separates the numerator and denominator. Let us explore more by answering the following items. Give the fraction based on the illustration. Very good, it's two tenths. Next, the fraction of this illustration is, you're right, it's three ninths. Next, we have this. This is 6 fifteenths. Alright. And we could also tell, us, tell it as 2 fifths. Since, as you can see, we have 5 groups of apples wherein each group has 3 apples. And 2 groups were taken. Let's have this fraction. This is number line. And the fraction of this illustration is 2 fifth, since 2 parts of the number line were taken. That's why we got 2 fifths. Next, we have this illustration. We could say that 12 parts of a whole is taken. That's why we got 12 twelfths. And as you can see in the illustration, it is equal to one whole. So when a fraction has the same numerator and denominator, that is equal to one whole. Next, this fraction can be named as 2 and 5 eighths because we have two holes and then the other hole has a fractional part of 5 eighths. So we got 2 and 5 eighths. Then this one, same illustration, but we could also name this way, 21 eighths. So we got 21 parts where shaded are taken 
out of 8 parts in each holes. Okay? So that is how we represent or we demonstrate fraction. Let's have the type of fractions. Fractions have three types. Proper fraction, improper fraction, and mixed number. Proper fraction is a fraction that has smaller numerator than a denominator. The value of a proper fraction is always less than 1. While improper fraction, the numerator is greater than or equal to the denominator like shown in the examples. The value of improper fraction is always greater than or equal to 1. And we have the mixed number. As you can see, in the example, mixed number is a combination of a whole number and a fraction. It is an indicated sum of the whole number part and the fractional part. Identify what type of fractions are the following. 3 fourths is a proper fraction. Nice. And 12 sevenths is of course, it's improper fraction because the numerator is greater than the denominator. What about 3 and 1 half? Very good. It's a mixed number since we have a whole number and a fractional part. What about 9 ninths? It belongs to... Good job. It's improper fraction. If the numerator is greater than or equal to the denominator, that is an improper fraction. What about 5 tenths? It's, of course, it's a proper fraction. Okay? I hope you get about the type of fractions. Okay? So, before we end this video, please remember the following important words. Fraction is used to show part of a whole, part of a set, or part of a number line. And fraction has three parts, numerator, denominator, and fraction bar. It has also three types, the proper fraction, the improper fraction, and the mixed number. Please take note of their characteristics. That's all about this video. Thank you and goodbye.